Hi, this is Jeff Challen. So in this part of our screencast, we're going to focus on how our app uses the Microsoft Cognitive Services Computer Vision API. So there's a lot to unpack there, and let's talk about what these words mean. What's an API? So an API stands for an Application Programmer Interface. The way you can think about it is somebody has built something really cool, and they want to make it able they want you to use it. They want to make it possible for you to use it. So in this case, what's the cool thing? Well, Microsoft has invested years and years and probably millions, if not hundreds of millions of woman hours into understanding how to automatically process images. And they are making this available to you as a service. And one of the exciting things that's going on in computer science today is that more and more of these types of services are being offered over the internet. So if you want to harness the power of Microsoft's computer vision uh, understanding and all of the machines they have in their data centers that are waiting to classify images for you, you don't have to write any uh, much code. You don't have to download software from them. You don't have to you know, sign up you know, for any fancy software license. You can just use this API, get a key for it, use it. Eventually, if you use it enough, you're going to have to start paying them for it. That's only fair. Um, but you can use these types of tools to build really powerful applications and systems very easily. Look, I mean, if you're really interested in computer vision or machine learning, these are really interesting topics. So take some classes in the department, find out more about them. But if you're at a hackathon or you have a, a really exciting idea for an app that's going to change the world, and all you need to do is extract some information from an image, don't spend a year trying to build this yourself. Just use this incredibly cool tool. So let's talk about how to do that. So we went over this a little bit in lab, and we're going to talk more about APIs in class and in future labs. But this looks a little bit familiar. This is the, sometimes we refer to this as an endpoint. And you'll notice that the API endpoint that we're going to use looks a lot like a web address, because it is. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually make a type of web request, the very same kind of requests that are made by your browser. We're going to send some data to this website. And what the website is going to do is to take this photo data that we sent it, it's going to do this magic, and it's going to return us information about the picture. However, in order to do that, we do need to add a little bit of information to the app. So you may have noticed that if you tried to use this um, in the code that you downloaded, it says that there was an authorization error. And so what happens is that, you know, Microsoft's not giving away this for free, so they want to make sure that people uh, are, 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 pay, are paying to use it. Um, you don't have to um, unless you build an app that gets really popular. Um, but for now, we need, do need to add the key that we downloaded uh, to our project. And we need to put this in a very specific spot. So I'm going to create a new file in my project. Um, the file needs to be called secrets.properties, and it needs to be in my app directory. So if it's not, none of this will work, and you'll get the same error message. So I'm going to stick my API key in here. Now everybody on the internet knows what my Microsoft API key is. One important thing to note here is that when you're building apps for real, if you have a piece of sensitive information like this, it's very important to make sure that you don't give it away to the public. So you know, now everybody knows what my API key is, write it down, you can use it, you can, you know, burn off all my quota. Um, but, you know, if you were paying good money for this, you don't want random people on the internet using it. So um, you need to make sure that your Git repository, your GitHub repository is private, which in this class it is, so we don't have to worry about that as much. Or you would have to make sure that this file was not added to Git. So Git didn't know about it. Otherwise, you're going to publish this to GitHub and somebody else is going to find this. And in fact, people actually write tools that go through GitHub repositories looking for sensitive information like this uh, that they can then use. Okay, so I've added this to my project. I'm good to go. I'm going to rebuild my application, which I do need to do after I add my key. So I'm going to run my build. I'm launching my activity. And now, unlike before, if I set this up properly, when I upload my picture to the Microsoft Computer Vision API, check that out. So now I've actually got some results back. And I can, uh, in my app, uh, I've set this up so that the JSON, which is another topic of this lab, covered in more detail in other screencasts and some of the written content that we provided, is now being returned to me. 
Um, so this is pretty cool. I mean, I'm sure it's too small to see, uh, but this it returns all sorts of interesting information. It's got some, um, you know, tags that were um, added to the image. The category is animal dog. That seems like it's pretty reasonable given that it's a dog. Um, it's not adult content. You know, all this stuff that, um, uh, you know, Microsoft knows. Look, I mean, it even generated a caption for this image, a brown and white dog playing with the Frisbee. Now, I don't see a Frisbee in this image, so that's an interesting uh, caption. But, you know, let's try another one. So I'm going to use a cat, upload it to the API, see my spinner. Look at that. Microsoft has analyzed this image. It knows it's a cat. This information was not generated by human beings. This was generated by a computer um, using all of this knowledge that we have now about how to process images. And there's a nice, you know, caption here, a close-up of a cat. That's a reasonable caption. Um, anyway, so this is, you know, just a brief introduction on in how to use the Microsoft Cognitive Services API. You may need to change a few things in here um, to get MP6 to work. Um, and you know we'll, uh, we'll we'll provide some hints along the way if you need them. Um, but you can see already after I add my API key, I'm getting useful information back from the Cognitive Services API. Your job is to figure out how to process it properly.